Okay. Good morning, everybody. Um, last week I was on a, on a stroll and I thought that some things in life I'm very late at doing. Um, I became a father when I was 41, so when you want to start a big family, it's a bit late if you are 41. And now today, this is my first international congress to be co-organized well, just before I retire. So for my CV, it's not really a good uh, addition, but still. Anyway, um, dear members of the Grasshopper Specialist Group, members and board of the Deutsche Gesellschaft für Autoptologie, ladies and gentlemen in the audience, and online, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It took a bit of time, but uh, finally the moment has come to host this uh, combined meeting of the European Congress of Autoptera Conservation and the 16th biennial meeting of the Deutsche Gesellschaft für Autoptologie. Um, on behalf of the organizing committee, um, Roy Kleukers, Boudewijn Ode, and Rob Felix, and myself, uh, a very warm welcome to all of you. We have an interesting program ahead, I think, um, and sufficient time, I hope, in between, for everyone to have a chat and meet and talk about things. Um, before sharing some household announcements and uh, introducing the keynote speaker for today, uh, I'd first like to give the floor to Eva van der Veer to officially welcome you on behalf of uh, Naturalis. Please. So, good morning all. So, considering the snowfall of this morning, it must be April Fool's Day. So, dear grasshopper enthusiasts and conservationists, it is my pleasure and honor to welcome you here at Naturalis Biodiversity Center on the occasion of the third European Congress on Orthoptera Conservation and the 16th biannual meeting of the German Ortho Orthopterological Society. So my name is Evan de Veer and I'm the director of collections here at Naturalis. And to give you a brief institute to our facilities, I would uh, like to start with a short video. Naturalis is the Dutch Knowledge Center for Taxonomy and Biodiversity Research and as such involved in various national biodiversity related initiatives and projects. Our national commitment and central role is also expressed by the strong ties that we have with ICE, the Dutch Knowledge Center on Insects and Invertebrates. ICE is also the co-organizer and co-host of this meeting. When it comes to insects, Naturalis also has strong ties with the Dutch Entomological Society, exemplified, for instance, by the fact that we also harbor the Entomological uh, Library, um, the, sorry, the fact that the Entomological Library is also housed here at Naturalis. We harbor one of the largest natural history collections of the world, and the insects collections with over 17 million specimens is the largest sub-collection here at Naturalis. The Orthoptera collection includes the collection of the former Rijksmuseum of Natuurlijke Historie, the Zoological Museum of Amsterdam, and the Willemse collections. In total, the Orthoptera collection consists of over 400,000 specimens, including primary types for some 500 taxa. 
its core originating from the Paleartic and Indo-Malayan region. Because of its collection and the very nature of its research, Naturalis has a strong international network and participates in some uh, 250 projects with 180 organizations worldwide. Within, for instance, um, uh, within Europe, for instance, Naturalis actively participates in CETAF, which is the consortium of European taxonomic facilities, and Naturalis as a facility also leads DISCO, the distributed system for scientific collections. This new building, with, which houses all of our staff and collections and includes a separate laboratory facility, opened in September 2019. In 2020, when this conference were, was originally scheduled, Naturalis celebrated its 200th anniversary. So most people know Naturalis as a museum, and despite COVID restriction, we were able to, to have almost 240,000 visitors in the past seven months. In 2021, we also received uh, the European Museum of the Year Award. And I know you all have a very busy schedule ahead of you and to, uh, today and tomorrow, but I hope you, I hope you have a spare minute um, to visit our exhibitions. If you do so, please do not forget to visit our Life Sciences Hall, which is next to the entrance, uh, where collections and research-related work is taking place under the watchful eyes of our visitors. So the program ahead of you includes a wide, wide variety of topics concerning grasshoppers with, of course, a special focus on conservation. And I would like to thank the organizing committee in advance for composing such a diverse program. International, meeting like, international meetings like these are excellent opportunities to get to know your colleagues, to brainstorm about ideas and to look for new ways of collaboration. And I'm sure this meeting will be no exception. So for now, I wish you a very pleasant, interesting and successful meeting. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Eva. Um, before introducing the keynote speaker of today, uh, some household announcements. Um, to start with, a um, very important message. The toilets are downstairs in the cloakroom, so across the hall uh, in the cloakroom. Um, if you're looking for information you cannot find in the program booklet, you can always uh, look on the ECOC uh, website for more information. Um, this is a hybrid meeting, which means that um, there is also a YouTube uh, streaming going on right now. Um, the presentations we are going to see will be uh, recorded and uh, you can look them back after the uh, Congress. Um, very um, kindly request to all the presenters, please stick to your time and to the chairs of each session to make sure that the presenters stick to their time. Um, we have uh, on the ECOC website, the, you can find PDFs of the posters um, which will be presented during this Congress. Um, for the online audience, if you have questions, you have to use the chat in YouTube. We have a moderator here who will read out the questions um, to, the, to the chair of, the, of, of that moment. Um, another question I have, we realize that maybe sometimes people do not like to be photographed. Um, if, that's the case, uh, if that's the case, we have stickers which indicate that you do not want to be photographed. If, if you do not, let me know and you get a sticker. Um, Eva already mentioned that uh, if you have time, um, visit the museum. Uh, wearing the sticker means, means you, can, you can access the museum without any, it's, it's free of charge for you. Um, the Naturalis parking, um, we, uh, I haven't got them yet, but I will collect some um, um, uh, free exit tickets. So all of you who came by car, um, please contact, come to me and I give you a, a free exit uh, ticket. Um, at 12.30 today, there is, we planned a group photo, so after the last morning session of today, we have planned a group photo which will take place on the big uh, stairs uh, in the museum. Um, we'll, we'll, I'll come back to you once we finish the morning session. Um, then 
on the, in the more open space behind us, there is a, some several tables with books. Some of them are for free, some of them you have to pay some money for, and the name of the person you have to contact is, is indicated. And to the, um, that side, near the coffee table, there is a table with a lot of small carton boxes, which are um, mugs. Everybody can get one mug. It's a, it's a Congress mug. It's for free. Um, uh, then we are, when we have coffee and lunch, you should realize that you can take that two, there are two stairs on the side, you can go up. The posters are on, behind this big screen, there's a poster wall where you can, where we will we'll hang the posters for this Congress. But there's also a lot of chairs and tables also in that side. So if you want to have a chat with somebody, um, you can of course do it there, but there's a lot of other tables and chairs uh, on the first floor there on the, in, in the back and along the sides here. Um, and the last but not least message is that with the morning coffee today and tomorrow, we serve some uh, pastry which is coming from the part of Holland where Roy and myself were born from the very south. It is called, in Dutch, it's called Vla. Um, okay, enough talk. <laughs>